What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to WarioWare Smooth Moves. Doing more mini games today, and we're gonna go in the order that we went on the uh, the actual playthrough. So we're gonna go with Dribble and Spitz. This one, you just have to angle your pan correctly. That's it. Some mini games will change forms on you, so you have to be paying attention. <laughs> this third segment is very, very finicky. You need to be very careful. Whoa. <laughs> Some of these mini games will show up that we have supposedly done before, but again, these are just the mini games we missed during the main story. If you saw them during the multiplayer videos, they actually can be unlocked during the multiplayer games, but it's better just to go through and play each character story again. And this one, just do the motion of an actual hoe. This one took me forever to get right. You actually have to jump and do a header if you want, or you could just lift the Wiimote off your head and hit it forward. Now they're going to start adding obstacles, which makes it mm, not as much challenging as it is timing. And she had a few fun mini games. Yeah. Hit it on the red. <laughs> this does not match Ashley at all. Switch forms on you, pay attention. 
And then you have to hit red, but... Oops. Game puns. Flask me later. to Penny. Her games are more mechanical, so you'll see a lot of mechanisms everywhere. And this one's actually kinda hard. See over there. Fish stinks. Even if you get it at the last second, it has to be in tune. Or yes, in tune. For longer than a second. This last one's hilarious, by the way. <laughs> Just pretend you're a can opener. In, uh, old-fashioned can opener. <laughs> Alright, 
for the longest time I couldn't figure this one out. You actually have to shake the thermometer and check to see if it's at zero. So when you're not shaking it, it'll it'll do a uh, close-up of the thermometer. This one is very easy to lose, too. Bye-bye! Funny one to have here. It's just air hockey. Yahoo! Careful, they're changing it up on you. Just pretend you're trying to turn on your burner. Now we're hitting 9 volt, and a lot of these people really love to see, so be sure to pay attention to the names at the bottom, that'll tell you what games they're from. Attention here, you're playing against yourself. Excellent. Hey look, there's a Wario game within my Wario game. WarioWare Twisted was actually the first Wario game to use a sensor. Where you had to twist your Game Boy Advance in order to play some of the games. And these were some of the examples. I really want to play WarioWare Twisted. Seems like a lot of fun. Uh oh, we got a throwback to UDJ. Pretty much just pay attention to where Game & Watch is. When he's in front of the treasure chest, pick up the Wiimote. Excellent. All right, 
This is probably my personal favorite. This one's hilarious. Just pretend you're pulling the Master Sword out of the stone. Excellent! An alternate timeline where Link's a chicken! It's canon! <laughs> For this minigame, you find out the hard way that there are multiple ways to lose this game. Let's look at some Nintendo history. The first one being that Nintendo was a card company first. Ah, their first handheld besides the Game & Watch. Whoa, something they don't want to remember. Alright, that's it for 9 volts. Now we're gonna hit Mini Wario. Which, uh, I mentioned through the regular playthrough that this is... When you're playing him in story mode, it's a mixture of Wario's and Mini Wario's games. I actually didn't know what I was saying then, but I was actually speaking the truth. You won't find any of Wario's games in here, but during the actual story mission, yes, it is a mixture of Wario and Mini Wario's. <laughs> For some of you, this fantasy has finally come true. Pretend you're a cat and wag your tail. <laughs> you're only pouncing out of love. wasn't a lot that I missed. This one is kinda hard to control. This game can go one of two ways, either you win or lose. And you can lose really fast in this one. Running into the shark, instant loss. And um, in some cases you can be an idiot with this game. And uh, 
Miss the sharks, but also the island. Fish tank. Last but not least, we have Orbulon. And uh, we didn't miss too many games because he didn't have that many to begin with. So be sure to have your nunchuck. Which I have just connected. This one, be careful. It's going to ask you to pull a specific pose with the Wiimote and Nunchuck. But sometimes it'll ask you for multiple motions, which is probably where you'll mess up most of the time, because you'll think you'll have it, but then they'll add something new, like right here. Oh, no! Pretend you're rowing the boat. Just pretend you're climbing. Left, right, and win. all the mini games. Now what happens if you actually complete all the mini games? One last game, one last mini game, which I'll show you right here in the Temple of Form. If you go to Story, you probably saw this when I was going through the mini games, but if you have a flower above everyone's head, you have all the mini games. So let's uh, check this new game out. Pyro S. Oh, whoops. There we go. Now this actually gets crazy. I don't know what they were thinking when making this, but this is actually a really fun game. If you're not an idiot. So let's try that one more time. I just love the concept of this little, little bird having such a big tongue. It's hilarious to me. You can tilt the Wiimote to go in angles. 
and that'll help you get the extra points. And uh, as soon as this shows up, this is where it gets nuts. So many enemies on screen right now. Okay. I think that's good. So, um, that's the last bonus for WarriorWare Smooth Moves. If there's anything else, we'll definitely come back. See you guys next time.